the chocolates. What the frick is that? We got the chocolates. Don't they do dad jokes? <laughs> we got the chocolates. Wait, there's a podcast? Yes. Really? <laughs> Yeah, hats. Welcome back to the We Got The Chocolates podcast. I'm Lee. I'm Skin. And I'm Gary. And that's Mikus over there. Hello. Mikus Films. He chimes in when we need him. You've probably arrived by accident, but definitely stay for a laugh. We Got The Chocolates. That is a win. Boys, I've done my best Mitchell Drennan impersonation <laughs> last oh, week. No. What kind? Oh, no. You uh, forgot the, something. The social awkwardness. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was oh. a rarity because I'm normally sort of quite confident, but like it, um, I had to go get my hair cut. Right. You do I, hate that. I do hate the, yeah, I hate the bar as well, but I was like in a mad rush. I was trying to organize everything and dropping kids to school and all that, all this sort of stuff. Anyway, so I've got in there, got the ears lowered, um, <laughs> s- sat down. Mm-hmm. Have you not heard that before? Not heard that expression. No. Got it's, the ears lowered. No. It's one of the all-time expressions. Yeah. Like, if no, you I, ever want a like way it. to tell, like not tell people, but to help people laugh, like or you just want a cheap laugh to feel good about yourself, yeah. if someone gets a haircut, say to them, me and Goat have been doing it for 18 yeah. years. If someone gets a haircut, just say, oh, you got ears loud, mate. Use loud. Guaranteed <laughs> laugh every time. Someone will laugh. Look, just happened. Did Dave over there, producer Dave, he's laughed. He lost it. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. No, so like I sat, I sat down, he started doing the thing, whatever, and um, he, he like, I hadn't met this bloke before, and he said, ask me what my job is, and like, I'm an exercise physiologist, but I hate saying that because then I have to explain what an exercise physiologist. So I usually just say, yeah, I'm a physio. Like, yeah, yeah, just, uh, it just, oh, I see. Yeah, up like up it's up not up. really the same. It's a bit different, but it's just <laughs> sure. like it just saves the conversation. But anyway, what I so I've said it, I'm a physio, yeah, it's speaking, and he goes, and then I've dropped the, and what about you, mate? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> So is this like your full time thing? <laughs> oh, it's just like what oh, did he I, give you? Uh, hey, the, the good thing is, like he laughed. He said, yeah, "I do this, but I do something else as well." Oh, so it's okay. okay, this is okay. Oh, and you were like, "Yeah, yeah, I knew that." Yeah, oh, yeah. So I was, no, I remember last time you told me that. <laughs> I haven't been here before, oh. so I'm just sitting there, just going like, oh, "This is good." <laughs> right. yeah. Okay. So now I know how it feels, buddy. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Yeah. <laughs> that is incredibly unlucky. Yeah. That's brilliant. Well done. Yeah, it's that's disappointing. Good. It would have made him feel good about himself. Yeah. But he's just like offended by that. It's like, oh, am I doing that bad of a job? <laughs> Why have I got a Mayhawk? Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, Skid, what did you do uh, last week? You were away for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. I was away last Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, went down to watch the Formula One with Dave the Brit, who knows jack shit. Turns yeah. out he loves Formula One. So, and he actually knows good. a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah. Knows too. a little bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, that was good. I, I ended up having quite a few awkward interactions with people as well along the way. So that was great. Uh, Were any of them Formula One drivers? No. Uh, oh, actually, we got very, we sort of brushed paths with Oscar Piastri, but it was that yeah, that was pretty awkward too actually because I was too scared to talk to him obviously, uh, and he was getting created by by news organisations and things of that nature. So should have brought yeah, the way you got the chocks mic down. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. He was actually telling me the same thing about yeah. he brushed past you too. Yeah, yeah, I know. He would obviously would have yeah. recognised me, but yeah, uh, no, it was good. It was a good weekend. One of the weird interactions was I had to take someone. Someone came up and asked me to take their B reel. People still doing that, apparently. Oh, I remember that thing. Yeah. 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 At least one person. Was, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I never got on it, so I didn't like had no idea what I was doing. And yeah, I was took the photo and then realised the face I pulled was just. Incredibly awkward. So yeah, that's oh, no. that's on her page. So that's good. Everyone. Oh, you everyone were in the yeah, video. Oh, I thought yeah, you. Yeah, take, I thought you meant as in. Oh, because like, it does a bit of front it, and back. Yeah, it takes a photo yeah. of, with the front camera and the back oh, camera. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now that's Jesus. just not okay, Lee. <laughs> Jesus. Crikey. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. a shame. So I was in one of the cameras. <laughs> the old bit of front and back action. Yes. <laughs> well done, Skid. <laughs> Anyways. That might do yeah. us, I think. Anyway, yeah. The, yeah, the actual race was exciting, wasn't it? I mean, you're not uh, <laughs> yeah, like well known for your Formula One knowledge. I think that's kind of the whole premise of the Formula Fools podcast you've started. It's like Dave yep. the Brit that knows jack shit. Actually knows stuff and you know nothing. Yep, correct. And you're learning. And- yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've, yeah, so I've never followed or paid any attention to Formula One at all until Dave started chilling me or off about it eight hours a day, five days a week. So yeah, I've sort of been learning and he's roped me into doing that Formula Fools podcast, which has been great. But yeah, that was the first race I've ever been to and I really didn't know a great deal about what was going on. I did know enough to know that uh, Max for Stappen keeps winning. <laughs> yeah, but really, she's saying that. Yeah, now. yeah, I know. <laughs> Max for Strapple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what he calls I, it. I literally said it wrong on the podcast, so that was good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've got that right now. And so he's obviously been winning heaps. So this race was a lot more exciting because he. Uh, he did not finish, so which meant someone else won. So that was nice. <laughs> it's very sad, isn't it? It's sad that the sport is yeah. that dominated by one person. Yeah, it kind like, of felt uncomfortable. Like yeah, yeah, yeah when his car like 
brakes blew up or whatever it was, and literally everyone on the hill around us just started cheering. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's sad. like because they just want to see someone <laughs> yeah. else win. That is, uh, he only got four million dollars that weekend. Yeah. Before, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's had a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's interesting skin, actually. Probably Formula One is the only formula you didn't pay attention to throughout your chemistry degree. Would you say? <laughs> mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make an Excel joke, but like he excels at that that type of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was nice. good as God. Yeah, anyway, nice. yeah. okay. happy. Yeah, happy. Yeah, happy. Mm. Good. If you're a first time listener, uh, Skin actually didn't do a chemistry degree. I thought he did. It's physics. He did physics. Mm-hmm. Also, we- a bit of formula in that, isn't it? There 100%. Lots, formulas. I reckon. Yeah, there, there were some formulas there. All of Newton's 10. He's got three. They were all in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> all right. Uh, and also, Mick wanted to give a quick update on the NRL tipping comp because he is dominating. Sent me a screenshot the other day saying it. <laughs> How is it possible to be this bad when I try hard? <laughs> oh, yeah. So going into this week, I think I was 147th out of 151. And I'm making my way up the rankings this week. Yep. 135. Nice. Oh, I thought you were going to be like. Nope. Top, uh, I'm 53. Right. What are you, Skin? I don't know. But I, I think we're on it. the same amount of tip. So I think I'm. <laughs> 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 and, we, and, and we've got the same numbers. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Wait, what have you done there, Mickens? Because you and I both got one right in the first round, which sucked, obviously. But yeah. I've sort of worked it out since then. Well, uh, oh, Mickens no. hasn't, I guess. I mean, yeah. how do you. It's just trying to tip. It's hard to work it's it out, really. Yes, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, yeah. You just, well, you just pick the team you think's going to win. Yeah, that's what I've done. And, they and win. you've just and then done just, the same thing, but got a few more than me. Yeah, so if you just get the right one, uh, that's fine. Oh, that's great. It's good insight. So it's weird that we're not all number one. Oh, that that should should help. He was actually telling me about the lottery now. So if you just like circle the right lottery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's, really, not, it's really not that hard. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't but, I don't see the problem. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see if Dave the Brute that knows Jack shit has got the right one here Ooh, with our joke of the week. You can leave these for us on the chalk line. That's at wegotthechocolates.com.au. There is a little place there for you to leave a voice message. Uh, and this one was sent in by Nathan. All right, lads. It's uh, Nathan here. I just needed uh, just needed to kind of call and, and vent to someone. It was last night, came home and discovered that somebody had broken into my house and stolen my fucking limbo stick. I mean, how low can you go? <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Happy. <laughs> Go to <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. I mean, honestly, like, what do you expect me from yeah. this thing? I think it's just because you can't relate to it because you don't have. Remember, you sold your limbo stick. I did actually the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a great price for it. I wanted to go lower, but I couldn't. <laughs> oh, oh <God>. yes, <laughs> wonderful. Well done, well uh, done, uh, Nathan and Gody. Yeah. Probably Gody more so. No, nah, well done, Nathan. Very nice. Top you can't sh- work top without shelf, Nathan. Yeah, good no. stuff. As Gody just did a return, but you can't return without the serve. Mm-hmm. Wide to the forehand. Mm-hmm. That's a tennis reference for you, Mickers. No, I got that. Nice. Sometimes I'm not convinced. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> It's getting you a written one. I do. Comes in from Mike. He says, hi, lads. Mike from Scotland here. Love the podcast. Brightens up the grey and rainy days, so that's almost every day. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to hear that, Mike. Anyways, here's a joke. Uh, I'm in my 50s now and have a fair few tablets to take every day. Got my Viagra and sleeping tablets mixed up. Ended up having 40 wanks. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that is good gear. Yeah, it'd be red raw too. Oh, 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 oh my god. god. I didn't want to think about it in yeah. more detail. No. <laughs> There's not much that can brace yeah. you for that. I wouldn't have Fucking blisters. Oh. Is- <laughs> Proper onslaught. <laughs> wink wink, 40 winks, you know what I'm saying, Skin? Oh, yeah. I don't know what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Jeez, thank you very much. They're two good jokes, great stuff. And they were brought to you by our good friends at Better Beer. They have five fantastic beers and plenty of good merch as well. Check them out, Better Beer. And uh, the MIDI I'm going for. Oh, we're going MIDIs. Oh, we are too. Well done. We're sensible. Yes, we are. Mm, okay. Uh, well, last week or maybe the week before, Goaty made a pretty massive call on our podcast, actually, which led to something interesting this week. If you've got that little sound grab for us, Lethal. Super Rooster Toowoomba has the best chips in the world. Well, that couldn't be less <laughs> well known. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah pretty much call. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never heard of Super Rooster Toowoomba. Mm-hmm. So I think the funniest thing about that was it was just so out of the blue. It was like mm. we, that was not a planned thing. Obviously, I mean, we don't do that much planning, but never. Um, yeah, but like the, I just said, 
Goaty, what's the best chips? I think we were talking about like out of uh, KFC. The Colonel and, like, yeah, and, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. and then Goaty just like literally like he had it prepared. Like someone had asked him yesterday. Mm. Like, oh, Subaru <laughs> Yeah, It stands out. <laughs> it does. Like greyhounds. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, it turns out a lot of people agreed with you as well. Uh, we posted a video of that and plenty of people were telling us like, yep, he's definitely right. You've got to go taste these chips in Toowoomba. There were also people that blew up about us revealing the secret. I don't really get that. The secret. Yeah, oh, like, as in like they wanted, they don't want tourism to Toowoomba by the sound of things. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. yeah. I thought we were doing like a nice thing and it was like, oh, don't give away the yeah. secret, you idiots. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah, I'd hate to provide give them more money. Customers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, businesses do hate paying customers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody went down to Subaru the other day, all these freaking people in line up <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, bizarre. But yeah, anyway, so we obviously, it felt like we had to, taste them. I mean, and Toowoomba obviously so close to us. It's like a little two-hour drive. So we started, made our way out there last week to give it a crack, which was nice. Although <laughs> trying to do some work in the backseat while you two were driving was less nice, but was that was me fun. And yeah. 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 How's yeah. the car sickness? Uh, Bigger car sickness. Yeah. He doesn't no. get it. Hey, unbelievable. I'd be sitting in there vomiting. Yeah, I'm yeah. the same. Yeah, I don't yeah. get that. Wow. Mm. Yeah, Skim yeah. was staring at his screen the whole time, yeah. both ways. Did or at, uh, at us, just Not staring at the screen both ways, as in landscape. Yeah. And yeah. 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 He was like, <laughs> you must have had a fish on your mouth. You wouldn't have got cast with a fish on your mouth. <laughs> this, <laughs> these fish shows apparently just fixed I, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I tested it. I did not have a fish show in my mouth, no. Try it next okay. time. <laughs> we'll do. But yeah, uh, we eventually eventually got out there. So a couple of welcome to Toowoomba signs. They certainly don't miss you with those. Yeah, there's three welcome to Toowoomba signs. At least you know where you are. You get, <laughs> you get welcomed three separate times. Yeah. No, it's yeah. quite nice. I mean, they're obviously not expecting you to get up the hill. Maybe they are, I don't know. The range. They put three. Is it a range? Toowoomba range is what it's called, mate. Can it be, it is it's hill. kind of hilly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's also a range. Yeah, it is. It, I mean, it is uphill, yeah. 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 And downhill in the way out. That's how that it's works. Sort of mountain. Yeah. But yeah, is that – okay, so there are three Super Roosters out there. Which yeah. one did you guys go to? I don't know. Okay. That was the question is, did we go to the right one? Apparently there's a right one and a wrong one. The one on the we way to- out towards Dolby, like f- keep going through the town, go towards Dolby. I think we cooked it. Yeah. No, well, they, no. Those were chips they cooked. <laughs> <laughs> to cook them. Yeah. Why, are that, why no. would those ones be so much better? Well, that's uh, that's like if you're driving out that way and going out west, so that's the stop out. So out of the town and then you keep going through and then you get to Oki, um, Jandarian, Dolby, out that way. Sure. That doesn't answer the question. But, <laughs> why are they better? Yeah, I like, don't know. Surely mate, the I don't three super the roosters all make super They're the same chips. chips. Have, you, have you eaten at this one particular restaurant and gone, that's the greatest chip ever? Or yes. is this like a continual thing you've done? Oh, every time, because my grandparents were Dolby. So right. every time we'd go out there, it was like halfway pit stop. Bang, Super Rooster. Have you eaten yeah. at all the Super Roosters? No, nah, just that one. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah. okay. so <laughs> but uh, that's the one. Some bloke in the comments said some, 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 something. And then, did you go to Woolaway? <laughs> yeah. I remember reading that comment. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something, 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 something. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's that one. Well, we went to the first one and then Super Rooster messaged us on Instagram and said, go to this one. The parking's better. And we were like, well, parking does make mm-hmm. the chips taste better. Yeah. So, we went to I that. Think it was salt. Yeah, we'll we get to that. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, first we sorted the parking because that was a key part of the criteria. Yeah, um, yeah. and so that meant that we'd been to two of them, and then we were sort of thinking like, oh, because they told us to go to this one, that must mean it's like the original. And then mm. when we were asking, it was like, so is this the original Super Rooster? They're like, no, this is the fourth actually. Yeah, but the original got knocked down. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, that's unlucky. That is considerably unlucky. Yeah. I'm never going to find the original. No. So. We yeah. could have gone to like the site that it was at, maybe, but I don't think they'd be serving great chips anymore. No, no, bit no. burnt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it burnt down. <laughs> Did it burn down? Oh, I, don't I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't <laughs> okay. So yeah, that was our confusion. You sort of just said Super Rooster Toowoomba. We got there thinking that would be one restaurant, and there was three to choose from. Yeah. No, so I've been to the other. Two. I didn't even. I reckon right. even when I used to go through, I don't even think there was two multiples. Multiples. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, so we went off to a great start. We we got in there and asked the the bloke working there why like why what's all the fuss about these chips? What makes them so good? Why they're so great? Mm. And of course, wouldn't give away the secret recipe. You no. said they're made with love. Good, excellent. Why is everything everything's always, always made with love yeah, when it's good? Good's always made with love. Mm. Yeah, is there anything bad made with pure hatred? <laughs> not many. Yeah, not many companies come out and say what makes the chips so good. Hate. Well, we hate what we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disdain for my employment. <laughs> Simply doing this for the dollars. Yeah. No one really wants to give it away, do they? Yeah, no. And then we also had like one. So we tried. We we went round two with the chips because we tried one lot of chips. We're like, oh, that's really good. And then this guy yelled at us as he was coming out of the <laughs> drive-through, like, "Did you get the extra salt?" And we're like, "Nah." 
And he was like, got to try that. And mm. back in we went for mm. extra salt. Yeah. Good. What's your stance on extra salt? Uh, at some places you need it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like Not this place? Not this place. No, nah, stock standard's enough at well, this place, yeah. I must say I prefer the stock standard. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I would agree. Mm. I, there, I think there's definitely such a thing as too much salt. Mm. Yeah, that guy was a real big <laughs> yeah. fan of sodium chloride. Yeah. Yeah. Right he assaulted you. <laughs> 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 um, and then the other thing was we apparently – well, we only found this out after we posted the video with our review saying – also, we had no idea really how to do a chip review. Like when you say the best chips in the world, this is probably something we could have asked you before we went, mm-hmm. but like asking you now that we've been mm-hmm. <laughs> and judged it. Yeah. Yeah. What's I mean, the criteria that you would have done? Yeah. No, I think you actually nailed it pretty good. Like you want crispiness, yep. but you don't want it like – Wait, it's like you don't want it crunchy, do you? You want a bit of no. softness in the middle. Fluff on yeah. the middle. Yeah. And mm. salt has to be not just plain table salt. Oh. Yeah, it has to be like a like a chicken salt variety or a little for, – for mine anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what then, was that other one? Temperature. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You don't want to burn your m- mouth trying mm. to eat a chip, do you? You don't want it cold, though. You don't want to reheat the fuckers, do you? Well, we no, brought them back absolutely. to the studio six hours later for Dave and he tried them cold. <laughs> 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 we, hey, did, we did. We did. We did say they're like, yeah. But let's see how good they are. If they yep. still taste good when they're cold, mm-hmm. yeah. better with age. Better yep. with age. We thought that was sort like of like a fine wine. Yeah. yeah. Jinx. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> so anything I've missed their skin? I don't believe so. No, mm. they were quite good chips. Oh no, there was one other thing actually. Yeah. Also in the comments, everyone said, no, nah, you've you've completely cooked it. If you didn't, if you went out there and you didn't taste the special dipping sauce, oh. you'd, you've yeah. No I was going to ask you about there's the sauce. No what's, did you go with the sauce? Well, or we went that sauce because we were tasting the chips. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the best sauce. If I poured some sauce away. <laughs> but see, I think if you're judging a chip, though, you judge the chip, and then if you want to add your sauces, like that's extra. And anyway, if anyone's putting tomato sauce with this quality of chip, you need your head red as well. Mm, and that's the same as your stance on the meat pies. Yeah. Well, just more like, yeah, go like a special different sauce or a gravy or something like Just yeah. a bit of character. I think sauce. they've got one. That yeah. was based on the comments. They had yeah. the special dipping sauce. So nice. it but everyone, might be worth correct. Everyone but. said it after the video and yeah. then like acted like we were the idiots because we didn't. No, <laughs> know that it was the best source ever. So mm. maybe it's know. the manager's fault. That he should have like maybe told you. Maybe. I well, don't know. yeah. Well, no, he could have sold. He could have sold us on. Mm. I mean, we took a long time to make decisions about what we we're getting. Oh, that's, that's surprising. That's yeah. fucking staggering. <laughs> Skid also. Skid also gave away with just like a full plastic <laughs> container of peas. <laughs> I wish I was well, joking. Yeah, okay. He was like, I might get some chips well, and a couple of sides. That, that I was like, make... chips are a side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but of all the, like, peas. I mean, I guess you can't but, get chicken yes, nuggets, I they guess. They serve chicken, is there? Is yeah, there but it's fucking super roast. They're not going to serve fucking fish, are they? I get it. I'm, like, that's fine. I'm not saying they should, but I'm saying I wasn't going to buy their chicken because I don't like eating chicken. So, But I wanted, I was hungry, so I wanted to buy other things. So I got corn and potatoes and peas. It was the biggest they're chip I've good. ever seen, those yeah. potatoes. But the, yeah, they're roasted potatoes. Potatoes, fucking not bad. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's could the well, it could be it's the best roast potato star, in the world. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what we have, what we have decided is that basically, I think there's a massive appetite out there for the chips, obviously, but and also for us to do more reviews, reviews of. Mm. No, I don't know necessarily Products. chips. I think chips is a good thing. We need to find. Because a few people disagree with you, Gody. Not many. A lot supported Super Rooster Toowoomba. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there are a few that said they probably need to try these ones and these ones. Yep. And I think we should start with maybe ones that we can drive to <laughs> before yeah. we start flying. Yeah, we're not going to Darwin <laughs> just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was like, when you're next in Adelaide, check out this shop. I was like, oh, yep. I would just do that on the way to work. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing Tuesday? <laughs> but please, over sorry. in America, I think there actually is a restaurant that has a Michelin staff for their chips too. That's wow. good. I mean- I don't know when our next trip to America is, but we should probably keep that in mind as well. Mm. Do any of those international, um, how would you say, what are they called, the sort of airplane travel things? Planes. Planes, but like more so the airlines. Oh, yeah, the wonderful people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do they ever offer any <laughs> discount codes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, potentially some sort of like- A little uh, partnership maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Get us over there. Yeah. I watched a bit of AFL over the weekend, which is Australian rules football if you're an international listener. Um, it's actually quite a big game in the UK, I found out too, in London. They have no like way. a genuine AFL competition. 
Oh. Dave the Brit that knows jack shit wasn't telling me about it because he doesn't know about it. He doesn't know what he's <laughs> after or I'm after today, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but uh, And also in New Zealand, they play Australian rules football. Quite interesting. That Not the weird. point of the story. Okay. Uh, point of the story was it was a rough weekend for the poor old boundary umpires, which is one very specific type of umpire. Uh, I don't want to say anything too controversial, but potentially maybe not as – Important as the field oh. umpire. Well, I mean, that's a controversial thing to say. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> Being completely honest, at the time of watching these games, I would not think that it was the most difficult job out there as an as an umpire. Mm-hmm. So there are field umpires, which are obviously their role is to make all the decisions, mm-hmm. right? As in, like free kick, pushing the back, that sort of thing, holding the ball, off you go. Yep. The boundary umpires, their role, I assumed. Uh, well, to give you context, in the Div 2 reserves that we play in, we play without bunch boundary <laughs> umpires. <laughs> so, Are you joking? No, yeah, genuinely. <laughs> it's like if the ball goes out of bounds, like throw it in yourself, boys. Not really. They nah. just, I think it comes back in for a ball up. But it's Oh, like, that's, that, to be fair, that's fucking better anyway. Well, yeah, exactly. So sometimes like, and in the Sandful, which is the South Australian yeah. competition, uh, they have like a last touch rule. So, oh, I love that uh, too. So it just makes the game move on quicker. Etc. So I was sort of th- looking at like boundary umpiring is maybe a bit like a dying art. A dying art potentially. Uh, there has been some discussion about bringing the last touch rule into the AFL. I don't think they'll ever do it because traditional etc. Anyway, um, my mind has since changed <laughs> across the weekend. But let me start with the, the decisions, the big talking points, the decisions that they got wrong. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw the Jack Higgins goal, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, St Kilda versus who was it? I reckon Collingwood. Mm-hmm. In fact, on the Friday night, I've got some audio of it here. And this is uh, Brian Taylor, yeah, BT, BT, commentating. Almost gloved it as well. Moore knocks it to Higgins. It was out of bounds, I reckon. Gee, I thought it was out of bounds. Long kick is a goal. I thought he was out. <laughs> Umpire said play on it's a goal. Do you, re- do you reckon BT thought it was in or out? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? I wish I had the sound grab. I'm yeah. pretty sure we've played yeah, it before, yeah, but yeah. there's another one. He's, he's done, done the done. same, done pretty it. much the same thing. Yeah. 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 Do you remember that one? But he went that even was out of bounds. That was out of bounds. <laughs> 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 like, it's pretty much where he, he really became the most well known, yeah. I think, was for that. So, again, he was pretty confident that the Jack Higgins goal was out of bounds. Uh, he kicked an absolute worldie. Like, it was unbelievable. Oh, it was a nuts. crazy kick. Yeah. Unbelievable goal. Uh, particularly, like, I think Rob on Twitter actually summarized it quite well because uh, Channel 7 put up, like, great goal, but was he out of bounds? And he wrote, he was on punt road, nearly got <laughs> run over by the traffic <laughs> So that was that was how yeah. bad people thought that it was. Uh, since then, the AFL has actually come out and made the controversial, I would say, stance to say that he got it right. Uh, so I'm not sure what camera angles they have. No not the way. same ones as ours, but <laughs> that's fine. But, uh, Gody, I wanted to ask you first, because mm-hmm. I feel like this relates to a stance you've got in cricket slightly. Should it matter? Nah, play on. <laughs> But who was they playing? Collingwood. Ah, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah, like okay. for me, and this is what I think, the game's so fast and that happened so quick. It was like scooped up, went bang. Like, yeah, I, I'm happy for it. Yeah. It looked cool. It's such it a better, cool. it's, imagine that as a replay. I think there's no winning for the poor old boundary umpires nah. because if they called that out, then he kicks that, then everyone's going, oh, it uh, could have been the goal of the year. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like, Wait, even, I wonder if the same reaction would happen if he kicked it behind. Mm. Definitely not. No. Yeah. No, <laughs> wouldn't even we wouldn't even be talking we about it. We would not be discussing it, that's for sure. Like and it was it was clutch and in the moment of like probably one of the game, which yeah. doesn't help. It was early in the first quarter again, probably easily forgotten. Well the AFL rule as well is different to like the NRL rule. Like the ball yeah, whole ball. Weird. Yeah. yeah, the whole ball has to be out, but also yeah. for NRL the ball has to touch the ground for it to be out as well. Correct. Well yeah, you're well, that's true actually. You know yeah. what I mean? So like maybe the AFL can yeah. do something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Your your body AFL, can be out. Yeah. The yeah. body you can just be running out yeah. side of the thing as long as you're holding the ball. Yeah. It's, Bizarre. Mm-hmm. The next night, there was also another controversial one, which was not as obvious. It was uh, Kyle Langford playing for Essendon, took a mark, mm-hmm. but again looked out on the full. Then he played on and just ran in and kicked it. I'll go on to explain that a little bit further because as fate would have it, Mikus and I caught up for a beer on Saturday night. We went to somewhere in Burley, the local, I think. Yeah, yeah. great spot. I thought he was just saying we'll go to my local, yeah. but it's actually called the local. Oh, that's on that main little yeah. drag. That's and a it is good, fast that becoming is, my local. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a right. good spot, that. That it's is nice. a fucking good pub. Good. Anyway, as it turned out, we happened to just run in to 
AFL boundary umpires <laughs> genuinely like sitting at a table in that what bar. Well, one Not of them in are, their uniform. Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just to throw it. Yeah. Wait, throwing but, schooner glasses. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, but how did you work it out well, if they're not in uniform? Also, a funny story. Uh, one of them liked We Got the Chocolates. He came okay. up to me and Vickers and was like, Boys, I just want to say, like, massive fan of the podcast. I just drove from Perth uh, a couple of weeks back and I listened to like 16 hours worth of We Got the Chocolates Whoa. podcast. And we we're like, Holy heck, like, what a machine. So he started with that, which was all semi really positive. And then he said, My girlfriend can't stand your voice. <laughs> So when it was her turn to drive, we had to turn it off. And uh, his girlfriend was sitting right over there. Ew. So just in the in the little, yeah, thanks. So I thought, well, I may as well just go and get some feedback. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah, no, he did. Yeah. So Why are you so weird? <laughs> so I obviously walked up to her and said, like, hey, lovely to meet you. I've heard you hate my voice. Apologies. Can you work with me on getting it better? And uh, and she was very apologetic. <laughs> and said, like, nah, I don't hate it. It was funny. It's fine it was for funny. the first, like, two hours, but just after after that, it gets a little bit deep. I was like, yeah, that's pretty oh. fair. Um, <laughs> Add the voice. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah, we knew, mate. We yeah, knew. There's nothing happening in that yeah. scenario for two hours. I'll give you the hot tip. Um, <laughs> Speak for yourself. Speak for our wonderful sponsors. Yeah, so that was sort of, we, we got to the bottom of that. And then we just, Mika said, I just got chatting to them. And he was like, yeah, right. it's actually my birthday. And these guys have all come. Uh, they've all <laughs> arrived uh, at the birthday. I'm rattled now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> They've all arrived at the uh, just to just to have some drinks and whatever. It's, his name was Luke, yeah, great Luke. man. Yeah, uh, and yeah, he was just and I was like, oh, what do you do for work? He's like, well, I'm a physio, but then I also do AFL umpiring. And I was like, oh, cool, yeah, I play a bit of um, Australian rules <laughs> football. He was like, no, 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 not your level. Like, I actually boundary umpire in the AFL, and I was like, well, like the. Brisbane Lions and that stuff. And he's like, yeah, yeah, in that. The AFL. <laughs> yeah, 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 the, the AFL. AFL. I was like, oh, it's been a rough week for the boundary umpires. Yeah. Said that to him and he yeah. was like, he's got like this group chat of like all, all, all of them. So yeah, oh, kind no. of like getting feedback yeah. about each decision and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, these guys are boundary umpires. He's a boundary umpire. He's a boundary umpire. What? And so like we learnt so much about. So I was like. So the when art you, of. Yeah. So I was like, when you when you throw it in, you just throw it wherever. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, it needs to land 18 metres in from the boundary. Yeah, right. So, I would not have known that. No. that so they go to training on Tuesday night. We're invited, actually, if you guys want to go. Hell yeah. Where uh, is it? It's at Sheldon College. Yeah. <laughs> Very, yeah. Sheldon College. It's they in just Brisbane. go and, yeah, in Brisbane. They're just in there and <laughs> throw them in. And they were also saying that, like, yeah, basically what you were talking about. Like, there's these weird rules. Like, the Kyle Langford one where he marked the ball, and probably out on the full, you should be able to get it. But because he played on off of his line outside of the field of play, that mm. should have been a throw-in straight yep. away. Yeah. And, like, it's just, like, that stuff happens so quickly that you have to be able – and there's okay. four umpires that run the entire 150 metres of the field mm. and they've got to keep the ball in between them. So, like, two run on this boundary line, the ball has to stay in between them. Two run on that boundary line, the ball stays in between them. So, in theory, like, that Jack Higgins goal, they were, like, probably would have had three sets of eyes on it. Mm. <laughs> Someone maybe should have picked it up. <laughs> okay. So they were kind of like, like – And so this was post both of those things that already happened. Yeah, okay. both happened. And they were – like their group chats going – like they agreed they were – Probably not the greatest decision. Yeah, but then the the oh, I don't want to get them in trouble. Yeah, they they were like the, the AFL sort of came out and said, yeah, I think they got that one right, and they were a bit like, mm, I'm oh, not nice. so sure about that. <laughs> that's, that's a yeah, pleasant yeah. surprise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, boys. Yeah, they, thanks, guys. Thanks for the support. But like, neither of those two were the umpire in question. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, one bloke had like flown up from doing the Fremantle game yeah. in Melbourne, like the hour before, straight back to the goal. Straight to the pub. Yeah, yeah. Is that right right? him. So there was a lot happening. I've learned a lot about boundary umpiring, and I'm pretty sure it's far harder than what I thought. Yeah. Also, of course Luke, it is. Luke, no, 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 no. Luke is like a genuine athlete. He ran, he ran a 14.02 5K. No. Yeah. Like well, he's number, isn't he's, he number one in the steeplechase he's, he's like, in Australia? No, I think he was second or third in steeplechase yeah, in right. Australia. Like genuine Wait. athlete, and we're just going. I mean, it could be that hard. Got to <laughs> that watch the ball. Like, we've never even seen a steeple, let alone chase one. <laughs> Yeah, that's our pilot part of the yeah. week. Yeah, I'm going to designate it to myself. Can you guys help us? I'm oh, born in at you. We're getting a fucking donuts out of these two again. It just wasn't that hard, but it could be pilot.com.au. Uh, but anyway, in amongst that, well done to the boundary umpires, wonderful people. And Luke, congratulations on the running physio and boundary career. Christ, he said he'll pace yeah, me for a sub man. 20. Nice. Yeah. Uh, can you anyway, explain what that means? You got to keep up with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, he said, "I'll run. Yeah, I'll can run five k in twenty minutes, yeah. and you just stay behind me and don't stop." Yeah. So obviously, I've got to 
trained for that. Yes, but right. Anyway, okay. so that's that was one of my goals for the year. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, you, make, you broke it down. You made it easy for you. You just have yeah. to attend, yeah, and throw the little <laughs> what, eighteen meters. What you should do is just attach a little rope to him. It's just drag you <laughs> <up> on the <laughs> ground. The last kilometer, you're like on the ground. <laughs> okay, I do want to move on from this, but also one story about a good friend Bigger said he's deck chairing from that same night. Right? Oh yeah. So we found a table. It was, it was outstanding because we were doing some laps for a while trying to look for a table. Steeple chase. Uh, it's got a it's got got a reserve side on it. Bigger was like, oh, that's weird. It's like re- there's a reserve for. 9.30, like who would be eating dinner at 9.30? And I was like, yeah, that is strange. Like didn't think much of it. Anyway, a couple of hours later, the bloke comes back. It's about 9.15. He's like, boys, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to clear this table when the footy finishes. So you'll just have to make, make way sort of thing. And we were like, yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. No worries. And he was like, yeah, just the DJ sitting up over there. Right. <laughs> Bearing in mind that the sticker says reserved for DJ. <laughs> <laughs> So I've sort of like put two or two together and go like, oh, it's not actually a reserve. It's not actually a reserve ticket. It's just the DJ is yeah, starting at 9.30. So they're yeah, just yeah, moving yeah. the table. <laughs> Mikus, the blokes come back again and said like, all right, boys, yeah, just five minutes, I'm going to move it. And Mikus is like, oh, man, this poor guy named DJ, he doesn't even realise that he's reserved. <laughs> he's reserved table. I'm genuinely, I'm I'm genuinely going, I feel sorry for you. DJ, yeah. and then Lee just yeah, looks at me, <laughs> takes me about ten seconds, and I've just gone. Oh yeah, that's one of those moments. Yeah, I shouldn't just, I just shouldn't talk. Wait, you said that to the bloke that worked. No, 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 to me. But I was just looking at him like you're taking the piss. Obviously, like you know those ones where you yeah. sort of look at people and you're like, yeah, is this a, a funny? Is this a, a funny joke? joke? Yeah, like yeah. if you're joking, this is quite funny. And he's just literally just like, man, poor DJ. Like, is anyone going to tell him that he's Dave Johnson? Poor butter. And guys, we've got a special guest here today. The lovely Eloise Skin's fiance is joined us at the table. Welcome again. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Good now, to be back. Yes. I wish you were here under better circumstances. <laughs> 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 Me too, man. Yeah. Me too. So a uh, little context. Skin, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, mm. you had what we call a good old-fashioned mare. Uh, Lethal, you got the audio for me there, buddy? I <laughs> do. This was probably my worst performance ever, I think. <laughs> I literally just forgot her birthday. <laughs> I love that we've given no other context. (laughs) (laughs) Dave's just cut it off right there. That's all you get. Perfect. (laughs) The only context you need. Yeah. So we thought we'd bring uh, Eloise here to maybe explain her side of the story and let's see exactly how much backpedaling our good friend Mitchell can do uh, over there. As well. I, I just like I, to try and help um, skin out as much as possible. Is I'm looking for some defence for it because I think it's fair to say Goaty was particularly flabbergasted. Uh, I was sort of like you know in that awkward phase where it's like oh he's my brother I should defend him but also <laughs> it's hard to defend like that sort There's of thing. No defense. Yeah, but uh, just if there was a defence, um, can you just clarify for the jury was this the first birthday you've ever had? No. Okay, right. Well, this is shocking. Oh, I've got no other ideas then. I'm not yeah. sure where that yeah. leaves your skin, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I've had a few years to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Tend to be exact. <laughs> you should be getting better with practice, I would think, and I'm somehow getting worse. So Literally worse. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, so Wes, from your, like, are you someone that quite likes birthday Birthdays, celebration? Birthdays, Christmas. I'd yeah. even pop Easter in there. I love any event to celebrate. Oh, there you go, Skin. That's something maybe you can mark on your That's calendar. Yeah. That would be good. I can make up for it this May weekend. May the 21st when you <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> so are you able to just take it through, we'll take us through it from your perspective, do you think, ways of just yeah, how that, that morning went for you? Because we've heard Skin's sequence of events and you've probably listened to it, I think. Yeah. Uh, was it accurate? No. What happened? <laughs> what? Was, let me explain. Oh, no. So I'm pretty sure we spoke. I don't. We spoke about my birthday the day before. So I'm just a little bit confused. Anyway, so woke up on it was a Wednesday, I think. Wednesday morning. And Mitch is like morning, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> And if you are listening to the podcast yeah. only rather than watching on YouTube, <laughs> Eloise has just made a face that is yeah. quite yeah. shocked. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Nothing. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll just give him another chance. I'll go start getting ready to work. And he's like, ah, what do you got on today? <laughs> I was like, is this guy joking? <laughs> And I was like, okay, maybe I'll give him one more chance. I'm going to go downstairs. I'll do my makeup and I'll come back up. So I did my makeup, came back up and he's like, What's wrong? Like, is something wrong? Like, why are you not saying much? And I was like, I got to the point where I said, you forgot my birthday. Yeah. At first, did you think it was like some sort of sick prank or something? No. Like a, no, because he's not really into no. his pranks particularly. It's literally gotten worse every year. I think the last two years before that, which I think you've spoken on the podcast about with Yana, yeah. the birthday's 
presents been bought on the birthday, he'll be like, oh, what do you want? Here's my card. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, what, I swear in your younger years you were quite romantic. He you? was very romantic. I was, yeah. What's changed, Mitchell? Uh, oh, wonderful question. <laughs> <laughs> Bear in mind that you guys do have like a reasonably yeah. exciting event coming up, like, yeah. Soon, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's just that obviously <laughs> been occupying so much of my brain that I didn't your mental have. capacity is yeah. full, mate. Is that exactly. What you're oh, yeah, there's yeah. only so much I can handle, and planning a wedding is a big job. Mm. Oh, for you, is you? Which, what the fuck have you, have you done? Which I've been doing heaps of. <laughs> oh. I've, I've done obviously the. I would just stop talking. Okay, so. um, I think that's a smart idea for you. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Genuinely, ways is it a concern for you? Like sometimes I think people uh, with when it comes to weddings, I've seen on like movies and stuff. Never done it myself obviously, mm-hmm. uh, but they've seen in movies and stuff, you know, the worry about like cold feet and stuff. For yeah. you, I don't think that's a legitimate worry, but a genuine concern is that he might just forget to rock up. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is a concern. He might be like, oh, might go play cricket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah. I've got my last man nervous, stand yeah. semi-final over. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? You seem so angry. You forgot our wedding. Yeah. Oh. I, was oh. the, I was at the Formula One again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not great. So, Skid, you've got, you had a defense, apparently. You've got something that you reckon. Tiny, tiny defense. I'm well aware how shit it is, and I apologize profusely immediately. So, I'm not not really trying to defend myself that much. But I I will just say, on the present front, at least, because I'm pretty shit at presents, and I'd sort of just ask Eloise what she wants and then go and get her that, right? This is not the weeks leading up to it. I was like, okay, I know. I obviously know your birthday is coming up. Like, I'm aware of the date. I haven't. I don't just not know it. But so but it's because it changes every yeah, year. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a leap yeah. year this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'm asking her what she'd like for her birthday. She tells me about this perfume. I think it was. No, or, nope. That's oh. good. So uh, skin. This start. defense good is start. going yeah. about as, uh, about as well as the rabbit yeah. in the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm, Skin, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but you've got the defence of Chris Martin. Yeah. But- <laughs> well done, mate. You've been bowled. First ball again. <laughs> it's a really okay. funny joke for any oh, cricket, oh, <laughs> cricket fans out there. Okay, wait. What was it that you wanted in the first place? Earrings. earrings. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. so similar. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I mean, they're both. So, so she wanted these earrings, as which she was going to wear on the wedding day, and that would be the perfect birthday present. And then like a couple of days before her birthday, it just says, oh, I bought myself those earrings. No, let, no, no, no. Hang on. Let me set that context more because you've missed out some key details. It was like what? Saturday night. I think you were doing something on the Sunday, so you weren't going to be able to get them. And I was like, oh, I saw them at the shop. And I was like, I'll just get him and just tell him not to worry about it. I've already got my present. I still don't think that's a justified excuse to forget my birthday. No, I agree. I, yeah, I don't disagree. But the good news is you I got just, her a present. Well, yeah. Despite and it was forgetting a great her present, birthday. I'll be honest. Yeah. That, You'd be the first person ever to forget someone's birthday and get them a present on the same day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you move did, that fast in my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did work hard at lunch, at the old lunch break that day, I'll be honest. <laughs> you, you skipped down on Guzman's for a finally for a day. Yeah. <laughs> You want to take my lunch break? We've yeah. been going for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Bean burrito as well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, had, I ended up put, coming together with, with something. But, yeah, no, I agree. That's not a great defense. But I just would argue, had I had a set of earrings on my bedside table, it probably would have been harder to forget. But what do they you were think for. he actually would have got them? Yeah, I do all my best work under pressure. I was leaving it to the last minute and then I was obviously going to find a way to make it happen. But the only way you could have got them was delivery and they wouldn't have arrived. Semantics, we. So you, you okay. just, where he there's a will, a, where there's a will, there's a way. He is a post most days now. So. <laughs> yeah, very yeah, true. Maybe wonderful people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got plenty of support in the YouTube comments on our channel, actually, Skin, from Timmy. Seriously, Skin, your wife's birthday. We are poor, poor Eloise. Yeah, well, see. Oh, this is oh. good. Fiance's. Oh, right. Obviously, if you want that sort of treatment, you've got to bloody you've got wait until you've yeah, got a ring yeah, on you it. You should know? have put a ring yeah. on skin. Are you joking? I bet he was trying to drop yes. hints for those nine years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> and Wiz, if he were, I mean, you know, when no, no one's trying to play the blame game here, no, but yeah, no. if he was to try and play the blame game, is there anything, do you think, on your resume that you've forgotten that he can reference as maybe a point of like, Mm, well, I mean, there was that time you forgot my lunch. <laughs> no, I remember everything. So, mm. no, nothing. I don't think. Mm. 
Mad Duck skin, I really tried for you. Yeah. yeah no, I appreciate it. It's really I, did, I, didn't, I didn't try for you at all, mate. Yeah. No, Gaddy, you can't relate? I, I understand that. What do you mean? You can't relate? You've never forgot your wife's birthday? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I've got two kids and they remember as well, so <laughs> one of them's two. <laughs> oh, Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> she, still, she still runs in the room pretty excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for your time, Eloise. It's no been most helpful, mainly for me, Gaddy. <laughs> yeah, we've had a great day. <laughs> Any time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish with the game, and the game is Famous First Names. Now, we've played this once. We didn't have a jingle because we don't like to get too far ahead of ourselves. We played it once, Gody, I think. Usually you're the one that we try to impress with games. Mm. You're very good at them, and also if you don't like them, they get written off quite quickly. <laughs> well, Google Feud's been here since episode <laughs> fucking 16. It's still there somehow. You know, it fucking sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that would be awkward if we ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Radio. All right. Exception to that one, I guess. Uh, but this one's good, you think? Famous first name. I like this one. Okay, good. In which case, I have got a jingle for you. Nice. Think of someone famous, write it down and then just tell me. Famous first name frenzy. All right, famous first names. The way the game works uh, is that I will throw out first names. You do need to be, so you, that's Goaty, Skin, and Mikus. You need to write down the most famous person that you can think of that fits that first name. However, mm-hmm. you can't have the same name as someone else when all of you reveal your answers on the whiteboard there. Uh, if mo- multiple contestants land on the same name, you're both ruled out. The point will probably by default go to the other person. Makes okay. sense. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. if you've all got different names, I choose the most famous one. I'm the only judge. It's just, just me. Just based right. off mm-hmm. just based off a general vibe that I've got of my nice. personal preferences and what I've thought about recently. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. It's a very fair game. Oh yeah. Your first name is Robert. Oh, your mother's brother, obviously. <laughs> oh nice. Right that down skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You always say that. Robert's your mother's brother. Is that that's an expression, isn't it? Yeah. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. uncle. Robert's, oh, your, Robert's your mother's brother. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like so, Robert, could it be the person's name probably is Robert, but they're not known necessarily by Robert. Are you thinking uh, of Bob, Bob Marley? No, like a Rob or like this. I mean, not not specifically for no, this yeah, one. I'll take abbreviations. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Does I'm gonna have to get something from your skin. Yeah, I've got <laughs> fucking nothing. Oh, I don't know who that is. So that's that's concerning. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously Robbie nah, Williams. I'm fine with that. Whoa. You're revealing already. Whoa. I was going to do it. Okay. Megus has got Robbie Williams, as you've heard. <laughs> or Robert. And now, Goaty has Robert Dickus. Rob Dickusella. Yes. He's, he won Commonwealth Games gold as a marathon runner. Yes. So, so you, you don't know who that is. You're doing 50 marathons and you don't know who, who yeah. Deek is. Well, it's a real person. Well, that's oh. good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in first. 67 years old. Uh, yeah, champion, world champion, marathon runner, Robert D. Oh, Costello. Skin, have you revealed anything here? I haven't, no. And so you've I've, got zero. No, I've got something. I'm just waiting to reveal until you stop Googling Oh, sorry, that yeah, stuff. okay, well, I've got <laughs> Costello, yeah. around here. Yeah. Okay, so I've stolen Mikus's theory that I really appreciated that helping hand, Mikus, and I've gone, Robert, oh, Bob Cutter. <laughs> Shoot the bats, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Cutter. Very, very well Okay, known. can Australian I tell you politician. some of the names that you could have had? I'm Please. actually going to give Mikus the point with Robbie oh, Williams. Oh, yeah. his fucking name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it his name? Well, his first name would have to have been Robert. Well, yeah. Ricky's real name's not Richard, is it? Ricky. Ricky Ponting. Oh, yeah. True. Wouldn't have thought that it was. It's on it. But no, we, we should check the Robert thing. Yeah. No, it is. I already looked it up. It's definitely Robert. Have you looked it up? No. No, you made that up. Well, I actually looked up Bob Catter. Oh, that yeah. is Robert. Also, definitely, you could have had Robert. Robert De Niro, Robert oh, Irwin, which is Bob Irwin, oh. uh, Robert Downey Jr. or Robert Pattinson would have all fit as well. So oh, well we done. Idiots. You're all on fire. No, I was going to do start. Robert Downey Jr., but then I was like, someone's going to do that. So oh, then I, okay. oh, smart. And yeah. by smart, I mean no one did it, so not yeah. really that smart. Well, I mean. <laughs> but he still got the points. So. Yeah. Okay, Robbie Williams has been all cleared by Dave the Brit, the oh, nose jack yeah. shit, so well done. Mick, it's point to you, and I should give you a little correcting... Particularly yep, when it's, again. um, yep. Yep. yep there we you. go. Nice. nice. All right. Uh, can we move on to Nicole, please? Reveal. Thank you very much, Mikis. Thank you. Well done. All names that I had on her skin. Can I see yours, please? All right. Oh, We've got skin. two Damn simpletons it. over there. Two Nicole Kidmans <laughs> and a <laughs> Nicole Richie from okay. Goaty. They were the two names I was tossing up between, so either way I was cooked. Okay. <laughs> Goaty has got the point. Now, could I trouble you that you also could have had a Nicole Scherzinger, mm-hmm. oh. Pussycat Dolls. And Great Burger as well. 
<laughs> Sorry. A Zinger Burger. Oh, okay. yeah. Not the yeah. Sherpa. Man. You've got you. Yeah. Well done. I didn't have many other Nicole examples. Nice. Um, Nicole outside. Nikki Webster's probably in Nicole. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Nikki yeah. Webster would have been good. Strawberry Kisses, Mikas. Mm. All right. Here you go. On to Paul, please. I've got a bit of cursive for you this time, mate. Okay. All right. Reveal, reveal. Very nice. Very nice. Two goodies. Skin, we're waiting oh, on you. Currently empty handed. Well, oh, that's good. Do you want to be put something in the hands? <laughs> and write a name down as well. <laughs> skin, you're timed can't, out. Yeah, I can't yeah, Timed out. Paul. All right, this reveal. Skin's gone I'm, Paul. I'm proper deck chair. Which is good. I'm assuming, Skin, that's Paul from the Bible. So you're in the oh, race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His time of year come up, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Paul Rudd from Mikus. Paul Gallon from Goaty. Nice. I do have to give it to Paul Rudd on this occasion. Oh, thank you. Mikus, you're out to two. Goaty, one. Skin, yet to trouble. I, I love think that we've phrase, got though. time for one. <laughs> I'm barely yet to trouble <laughs> the water. What are you having to do? Well, I have five prepared. How much <laughs> time? We use nah, a lot of time. Time they try to uh, just work out how the game works, but we'll do five. Jennifer, yeah. Jennifer, I'm looking for, and you can shorten it to Jenny. No, or <laughs> not Genesis skin. I know that's been something. <laughs> Is there any <laughs> Judases coming up? <laughs> no, this kid's trying to work oh, strictly in biblical for. names. Yeah. Oh, which one do we go for? Give me a reveal, someone. Well done. Gone with friend of the show. Oh, well, now you've given that away. <laughs> oh. I mean, hardly. Okay, nice, Cody. Locked in. Skid's got with a late change here, which is interesting. And gone to. Oh, oh well done. Wow. Jeez, that's a hard decision. All three. Jennifer Love Hewitt from Mick. It's Jennifer Lawrence from Skin and Jennifer Aniston from Goaty. Okay, that is that a is tough, tough decision. <laughs> now, for the sake of the game, Skin, very well done with Jennifer oh, Lawrence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, I feel. Jennifer Aniston maybe had it, uh, but uh, oh. just more current Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, obviously the biggest TV show ever, but anyway. Don't <laughs> yeah, but apart from that, but yeah. then you've got to remember Hunger Games. Yeah. Oh, that is true. Uh, uh, speaking of which. I was with <laughs> oh, So, Skin, you're on one. This will be the decider then. Migus on two, you two on one. If either of you get oh, it right. here, is he? Then we're... <laughs> Either of you two I'm get this. <laughs> no, I just, no, I, knew, right, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just did uh, not hear what he no, said. No, no, it's a no, fucking no. great joke. Yeah. It didn't get reciprocated. Yeah. Mate, everyone else laughed. <laughs> yeah, but it's only you that it cares for. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, final one is Jack. Because. Also, I don't know what happens if, if either Skin or Goaty gets this. We're tying again. I definitely don't have a tiebreaker. Mm, okay. And this game's gone for long enough as it is. So oh, let's just yeah. go with Jack. Jack, Jack Wildermuth. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two to Mickers. I've got one to Skin. One to Goaty. And this game is what they call coming down to the wire. It's so weird that you and I both had the same one. <laughs> well done. <laughs> nice. And there's one other that I thought was oh, better. No, 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 no way. That oh, is I'm fucking sorry. ridiculous. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Okay. I'm Mick, I've got, I've uh, got, no, Goaty, let's start with yours. It's the most normal. Jack Nicholson. Oh, nice. That okay. makes sense. Skinner's gone I'm with Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Jack. <laughs> which I'm not willing to accept. <laughs> and Vegas has gone with Jack in the Beanstalk, which I am willing to accept. <laughs> and I think on this occasion, Jack in the Beanstalk, a lot of copies uh, sold. Therefore, yep. Vegas, well done. You get the job oh in the God, game this week. Incredible. Come on. <laughs> Jack Nicholson, yeah. very stiff to miss out, unfortunately. Yeah, I heard he was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I've got a tweet as well. Nice. Um so, news article posted on Twitter, John Cena surprises seven-year-old boy with cancer on his birthday. Uh, someone replies, what a terrible gift. <laughs> oh, it isn't great, though. No. I actually saw that. Like I saw that exact tweet. Like It's got a buzz. Like, nah, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, see, I wish I had that filter. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind that skid. Can't win them all. Nah. Sorry. Oh, I mean, like, yeah. You can. It's With a, a better tweet, attitude, you, could, you can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great tweet. Oh. Uh, skid, have you got a piece of homework? Because radio, that is another episode of the We Got the Chocolates podcast complete. We welcome you to be part of the Chalky crew by probably, I don't know, doing one piece of homework that Skin's going to set for you. Yeah, sure. I feel like we're uh, due to leave a rating and review, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yes. we haven't done that in a while. No. We'll, we'll read them out sometimes, and obviously they help us 
go up the charts, preferably if they're five stars. Yes. Um, yeah, five I mean, stars helps that's, a lot. That's yeah. up to you. One piece of homework, Chip's recommendation, but also the second piece of homework, rating and review. Rating and review. Well done. Made that crystal clear. Remember that if you're out there having a laugh with your mates this week, then you absolutely are getting the chocolates. Uh, we love having you here, and we'll speak to you again this time next week. And as always, good luck in the future. And that stumps. Hey, Goaty, what's your, um, who's that? I think you know a lot about Formula One. Who's, who's the brand of car that Lewis Hamilton drives for? Ferrari? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want someone else to answer yeah. that? Mercedes. Yeah, it is Mercedes, yes. Mercedes mm. nuts need to go in your mouth. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah.